Me and the team that we got here at the moment, we're doing some quite creative dishes. This is quite simple, but I, this is something everyone at home could do, really. It's not a lot to it, but the flavours speak for themselves. Remove the legs, following the bone end to remove them. So what we're going to do with the legs then is we're going to put them in some uh, duck fat and can't feed them off, which will keep them nice and moist. Place these into the oven. It'll take about two hours to cook then. So then we've actually got a saddle with a rabbit then, which has been boned out. So we just trim a bit of the fat off. And then we need to make a chicken mousseline then, which we stuff the rabbit with. So I've just got some uh, chicken breast here, which we blend. And we're just going to add an egg and a touch of cream then. You get your mix and you just spoon into the centre of the rabbit. And you just roll it like that. You get two slices of Parma ham. Layer your Parma ham onto the cling film. And this is just going to wrap around the rabbit to seal it in. Just get your saddle of rabbit. So we'll fridge this then, so then it gives the moose a chance to set up inside the rabbit. And it'll hold its shape back then. We'll move on to the cabbage, which is going to go with the comfy leg of rabbit. We'll just blanch that. Off in some boiling salted water and the rest of the cabbage then. We'll shift and add up, just put that to one side. We'll bring out some carrot up then, just a, a, a fine dice. We're we'll in gently down. And what we do is add the cabbage to that then. Then the cabbage leaf, which we just blanched off, we'll remove from the water and we'll place it into a bowl of cold water, which is going to stop the cooking process. Okay, in this pan then, what we'll do is just start to cook the saddle of the rabbit, season it lightly. You need to make sure that pan's really hot, because if the pan's not hot, then the pan ham will start to stick to the pan. A few knobs of the butter. We'll just place in the oven for between eight and 10 minutes. You just need one of the legs. We're just gonna put that into the cabbage. The cabbage has been cooked in the duck fat, which the legs are confit in, so all the flavor is just following through into the dish. We use a ladle which is lined with a cling film. Place a cabbage leaf into it, and it's then filled with a, the rabbit and cabbage mix, which is then rolled into a ball. You need to make sure it's quite tight. We just place that into the pan of the boiling water, which we used earlier. To finish the dish, we use the Haricot Blanc beans. I've cooked these off in some boiling water with garlic and thyme. So a few spoons of them. Add a touch of the cream, this is going to make a ragu. We've also got some jus as well. So we put a spoon of the jus into the ragu. And what we need to do is bring the ragu down so the, the, the cream thickens and it, it'll hold all the beans together then. To that then, we're going to add some tomato concasse, which is just tomatoes which have been blanched in boiling water and the skin removed. We're just going to chop some chives to finish the ragu with. Just pull that off to one side then, just to stay warm. Cut the one end off so it stands up flat. You could just carve it all up and then serve it however you want. So have a little pile of the ragu at the back there. Get a little cabbage ball out. And what we've got here is a, a, a garlic and thyme jus. That's the finished dish there. We've got a ballantine and rietta rabbit served with uh, savoy cabbage and uh, white bean ragu.